<clears throat> All right, y'all. <laughs> My fault. I didn't had shut down some stuff that I shouldn't have, but it's all good. We're back, and it's time to finish this up. So we gotta do the actual swap onto the real player or whatever you want to call it. Uh, front basketball dream. We back, yes, Cam World. 205 James, what's up, man? How you doing? All right, so I got to kind of... I guess we'll worry about a background after. Well, whatever. We can do a background after if you want. Um, that's fine. But let's just get him here. And let's just work on Devontae Graham right now. You said just been confirmed Clay Thompson. What's up, Elijah? Been confirmed Clay Thompson's out for the season with an Achilles injury. Damn, bro. What? Again? That that must that's got to be something to overcome, man. Something to overcome. That's that's unfortunate, man. I, damn, man. Like again? I'd be like, are you serious? Are you serious? Hold on. I gotta put a track on. I don't know what is going on with this. Definitely pain. Are you gonna do the swap on Melo? Oh yeah. Why am I doing Graham? I don't know why I was about to do Devontae Graham. This is what happens when you uh, just design sometimes. Just, just your mind just wanders, man. You guys let me know what, what picture is the best to do it on. I feel like the only thing I don't want to like doing about Lamelo ball swaps is like every picture's been used. <laughs> like I don't feel like I've done an original picture. This one's cool right here. Like his jersey is so weird, like it's not like NBA. So it's just weird to look at. Happy for your guy Isaac o Okoro. Uh, he went to the Cavs last night. That's your, that's your guy for real or not? Nah? Or are you just saying like as a reference? I feel like the biting the t-shirt one would be fire. Let's just try and do that on there. Because I don't feel like people have even attempted to do it on this. <laughs> LeVar was pissed last night. <laughs> Why? Because he went third. He thought he was going to go second. LeVar is always getting into something. Did you see this swap on Sports Center uh, Instagram last night of Lamelo, bro? <laughs> uh, 
That was the most like tragic flop I've seen. She was tragic. All right, let me turn on a uh, live chat. I know, make up your mind, bro, I know. <laughs> you guys know every time I it's I don't I don't rush to make decisions, bro. I try not to. I try to take my time in making decisions. Cause things like me shutting down my computer happens. Um Lavar versus MJ. Um bro, I saw that. I saw the Lavar versus MJ on Shannon Sharp's thing. That's mad funny. <laughs> But now he's in Charlotte, like that's, it's not the goods. But I, my thing is, how the hell are they gonna use him there? Like, are they just gonna say like Devonte Graham, like relax, like we have yep, Mellow Ball now, or are they gonna say relax Terry Rozier, like we have Mellow Ball? Cause he's gonna have to outplay them first, and they're not too easy guards to outplay. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not just an easy, easy bid to get playing bro playing against those two like what oh where did i save this to did i save it to uh okay yeah, i did look at us we got this Guessing this edit won't take as long as yesterday, but it better not because five hours live stream yesterday was not was insane. I did not know I was gonna be designing for five hours on one thing, but it happens. They have a different refine mode. I don't know if how much of their stuff is really just BS on Photoshop and they didn't really actually fix anything. I don't know man. Utilizing gradient maps on my my player, on my player in my design. Yes, sir. I love to see it. Love to hear it. Love to see it. We love gradient maps. Well, we have to learn to love them, or else we'll never get really good at them. I gotta use displacement maps on here. everything out first then use the displacement map yeah. the last time I did this jersey like I did a pretty good job but it's just kind of hard to do because of all the uh, colors and stuff on here but we'll see
should make a LeVar vs. MJ? Bro, I would have. If I had the idea, I don't know why the idea didn't come up. But I already saw one, so I'm probably not. I would have, though. Unless you guys want me to go crazy on it. <laughs> then I will do. Then I will do so. I got, like, I saw one, I saw the one on Shannon Sharps, but I can try and just force it. Force the hand, bro. I didn't even realize how hungry I was. How long we got here? Uh, there we go. Trying to keep the folds there the best I can. Um, you said when you finalize your designs and turn it into PNG. Uh, do you delete the PSD or you keep? I, I keep them, bro. Because you never know when you're going to want to go back. But you turn it into a PNG. I say mine as P JP JPEGs, bro. JPG. PNG is for, like, transparent things. Like, if you're cutting out a player, you save it as, like, a PNG or a logo. Try and save it as a JPEG. See if it makes a difference for you. You probably won't really be able to see that much of a difference, but it might look better when you post to Instagram. And uh, also use Telegram, Telegram Messenger. Some some very good tips. Telegram Messenger, you can send to your iPhone with like full quality. I see why no one's done a jersey swap with this picture. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> JPEG compresses. You can set it to not not compressing, bro. I don't know if it like shows you in here, but like <clears throat> if you say if you save it to here. Uh, and just save it, and then you use uh, Telegram. It doesn't compress it. I will. I won't lie to you. If you say if you send a Telegram through Telegram, it doesn't compress. It gives you the option to actually. It won't do it. No lie. You said I'm done with school. Nice, nah, crazy. I am done with school too, but I need to do homework, so I'm technically not done. I mean, are we ever really done with anything? Which is tragic. I have to do my homework. I'll just be handing in stuff late. <laughs> like, no shame in my game, bro. The best photo format... It has been PNG for me. 
or, uh, JPG. It will create artifacts, blocky pixels. I've not, I haven't seen this happen. But maybe in your experience, I don't know, man. It's been the opposite for me. Cause when you uh if you ever like do photography like the two the two files that it saves as you'll see is it saves as a raw file and it saves as a jpg you, you don't you don't see photographers with like uh png files i think you're getting that mixed up on your screen it says you have 800k subs yeah man i have 800,000 subs thank you guys for 800,000. you know what i'm saying it's been, <laughs> been a long time coming 800,000 subs and we get about 300 views or 200 views a video. <laughs> it's just the algorithm. It's just messed up, you know? Nah, I don't have 800K. No, you gotta use uh well you don't have to but the best way is use file export as file export as file export as because then you can uh choose resampling smoother bilinear nearest neighbor preserve details a bunch of different fun stuff in there you can do so file save as It doesn't show sub count. Yeah, I don't have sub count on, bro. Cause like I told you guys, I don't care about that. Uh, so I turned it off cause that's just me trying to show you guys that it's a good model that you guys don't need to be worrying about that stuff. If I could turn off my followers on Instagram, I would too. Thanksgiving special stream. I don't know what we do for a special, man. I don't know. Oh, we do just like Thanksgiving swaps. Or like like custom Thanksgiving stuff for every team might be cool not every team obviously that would take like hours on hours might be painful I think we finally finished this okay we could do like Thanksgiving themed jerseys or something or uh, just a manipulation. That's all I really got though. <laughs> make LeBron a turkey. <laughs> Might have to. Might have to make LeBron a turkey. It's not the worst idea I've heard. It's actually pretty good. Um, I'm gonna save two versions or maybe three versions of the displacement map. I don't know. <clears throat> I want the social way to check your sub count. It says 998. That would be incorrect. That would be false, sir. I just gotta see which one is gonna work, but like, I'm gonna save a couple of them because you never really know when they're gonna work or not on here. I don't know why, but. This is the only time you're using Gods and Blur, okay? When you're blurring out the whole picture, alright? Alright? For a displacement map, alright? 
drop into this place in a garage a blur tutorial tomorrow mark my words mark them <laughs> mark my words please what's up TGB what up my guy how you doing bro you said it's sad that clay will miss the whole season yeah it is can't get down on him on it though too much he's probably trying to do his best to not and if we're all sad about it that's gonna make him even more sad about it so you dig it's an energy thing you know what I'm saying you can feel that energy all right well here goes nothing It's an energy ting. I got a mask out of the jersey. What am I doing? I'm in class, uh, school is boring. Bro, school is very boring. School is like, what's the point of it? <laughs> what is the point of school? Teach us stuff that like, we're not gonna use for 18 years. They don't teach you about no real life type of skills, or well, real life type of skills. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy man. The system that we live in, I don't know, man. It's a little fishy. There's a lot of fishy things going on, a lot of fishy things in the air that we could talk about more and more, but that's a deep rabbit hole. <clears throat> you hit 1K? Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir, man. We're almost at 4,000 4, watch hours, so super close to that. I appreciate everybody's support, man. Thank you guys all. A little fishy. The system's a little fishy. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, I'm going to add... Shoot, man. Lamella the Goat did not want to get drafted to the uh, Hornets. Does that say Hornets? Um, oh, yeah, the Hornets. Bro. It kind of sucks, but <laughs> like he's gonna make the most of it. What's up, Nas? How you doing? Thanks for coming through. I was I was saying before you weren't here. I was like, well, like now these on the Hornets, like, what are they gonna do? They have Terry Rozier. Now they have Lamelo Ball, and they have Devontae Graham. Like, what are they about to do? You f like, you feel me? Like, what are they gonna do? I don't know what the hell they're trying to do down there. <laughs> I know they want to just gain some exposure by having them, but still, like, what are y'all doing? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand the process. I do not. y'all know the process just fill me in because I'm highly confused have him be a bench player sheesh sheesh that's harsh sheesh we'll see he could he could maybe start out as a bro facts they do that to all the rookies <laughs> I don't know what Charlotte does bro 
just a random weird organization that thinks they know what they're doing and they really don't. They're like, well, we have Jordan as our as our guy, whatever he is, the owner. They're like, well, we have Jordan. It's like, oh, okay. Like, well, what have y'all done? They make the like biggest dumb moves you've ever seen. They're like, man, we want the whole world for Kemba Walker. Kemba Walker's like, bro, stop. I don't even know if the Celtics are going to have uh, Kemba Walker next year. <clears throat> I think they... Okay, Nicole. I think they want to trade Terry, then play Graham at the two. Oh, okay. They're going to trade uh, Terry, you think? Tough luck for Terry Rozier if they do, but oh well. well. Actually, not tough luck. He's leaving the Hornets, but it's just like he was—he was, was kind of getting on a roll on the Celtics, and then he got traded. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens so many times in the in the NBA. Like a player will just like start sprouting, or whatever you want to call it, sprouting, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But <laughs> they start doing really good, and then they get traded, and it's just like oh rip. It's like oh. You were good, but, you know, time to step it over, man. That is the reality of the league, though. So, oh well. It's a cruel, cruel league. The reality of life, bro. Moreover, Lonzo and Lamo should be on the same team. That would be cool. That would be cool. What if MJ gets to Charlotte, gets jealous of Charlotte? Oh, yeah, that would be also pretty cool, too. I'll be a bench player as long as I'm getting the money. I'm good. <laughs> Bruh. I mean, bro, you can't really complain too much. I mean, from a standpoint of that, I guess. But at the end of the day, most of them probably don't really care for the money as much. So, I mean, I don't know. That's funny, though. <laughs> as long as you're getting that bread, do not care. Just pay me, bro. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. Just pay me. Simple. Simple, simple things. Just show me the money, and I'm just great. I'm just great. Oh, man. If they trade Terry, they should trade for a center. Yeah, but you know, you you might have to like beg them to make a good decision for for that to happen, though. So, so we'll see. We'll see, man. The Hornets are just like doing. They just do things, and then they just worry about it later. They're like, you know what? Huh? Let's just do something random. We'll worry about it later, and then complain about it later as well. It's like, oh yeah, makes sense. I see all the logic in every move that you guys make. Like, you guys make the best moves in NBA history. <laughs> it's insane how good, great your guys' moves are. Like, how could we all forget? I don't know if that's too large or not. I think that's fine, but.
All right, now we gotta see if this displacement mask gonna be talking about. Cause I hope it's talking nice, man. I hope, <laughs> or or not, we'll see. Let's not forget Jello, the third bro uh, brother who played basketball his whole life with his brothers, and not even a draft pick. Facts. So they gotta be grateful, bro. So they gotta be grateful to even get picked up. He's not even in the league, man. He should be. He's not even in the league, and he should be. So it's like, I don't know, man gonna take some wins you take some losses but shit not even in the league and he should be but you in a loud cabin Should have made a thing just for the jersey. Um, thought I had. Yo. I masked this out really wrong, but um, it's fine. I might have to go back to the start though and fix it. Why not clip the mask? I just did, but I the the way I clipped it is wrong because um it's clipped to the whole thing. It's clipped to the whole thing, bro. <laughs> but yeah, it's a big fact. <laughs> like why not? I like the subtlety, <laughs> the subtle dumbass hints. Yo, uh, you might want to clip that mask there. That might help. <clears throat> That might help you out there, bug big fella. Uh, the subtleties. I peep them. Don't think I don't peep them. Uh, what do you think about Danny Green? <laughs> He's a... Uh, He's a player in the NBA, I guess. I don't know, man. He gets a lot more hate than he should, I feel like, but he's not that good. He was just way better before. That's why it's just like, what the hell is rough with this dude? Because he was just way better before. But I still feel like he gets a good amount of undeserved hate.
James Harden got traded to the Nets. <laughs> Cap. NBA County reported two days ago. But I'm sure it's false. Bro. I don't know. He might go to the Nets. He might. He might. We can't put it out of the question. Man. We cannot. I feel like he has a really high chance to go there. But stop the cap. If it's not true, stop the cap. I run a Nets page. I got all the insiders. Yes, he does. Make sure you guys check out the the uh, page run by my guy, uh, my guy Chase, bro. Nets County, right? kind of difficult to do but we're doing it I gotta somehow make the collar the way it is so because uh, it doesn't angle down Like all these freaking angles are getting me like the most, doing the most, doing the most. What's your second channel? My second channel, what do you mean? I have like a channel where I just talk about life, but <laughs> I don't, that, I never really promoted it. Is that what you mean? cap but it's a rumor it is a rumor but he was just saying cap because like that shit ain't happened <laughs> I said NBA County said it happened. See, now y'all confusing me. I don't even know what y'all are talking about now. 
talking about like three different things. <laughs> Turn the music volume down. Alright, let me know if that's better. I think Al Horace should mentor Darius Bailey because he has a lot of potential. He does have a lot of potential. I've seen him too. It's good now? Alright. What's up, Victor? How you doing? Thanks for coming to the stream. Appreciate it. Make sure you guys haven't. Make sure you guys drop a like. Helps me out a ton. More than you know. Okay? So, I appreciate it. Look at us making our own custom jersey. Who would have known this day would come? I did, but. But still, you gotta have dramatic effect, so I'm a cap. Capping a little bit. Um, what music are you playing and where did you get it? I get all my music off of uh, Soundstripe, bro. It's all it's all non-copyright Soundstripe for streams. It's like a yearly membership, but there is a there is a free a uh, couple free playlists that you can use uh, if you want me to let you know those. Um, but yeah, if you just look up what whose channel is it? If you look up um. Man, I forget their name right now, but they have a couple playlists that you can play on stream for, for like no copyright. I can I can let you know later if you want to. Elijah said nice concept. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. Um, we gotta do this sleeve right here. I'm just gonna block his face. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint his face on. Paint his face on. Or not the face, the sleeves. NCS is pretty good. Yes, it is definitely. Um, it's good, but I don't know. They be having too many, like, um, I don't know. Some of their songs have, like, way too much, like, bass and stuff. I'm like, bro, I just want a chill stream playlist, so I just, uh, pick the songs out from Soundstripe. 
I'm like, yeah, let's just have a chill playlist. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely is good too. They made a website where you can download um, them for your bits for free. I did not know that. I'm gonna have to look into that and I don't have to pay for a membership, right? <laughs> I didn't even know they had a site. Blue collar, what's up? Blue collar dollar. This uh, little this little logo is gonna be kind of tough here. Let's see what we have to do. Cause it's like three folds, so I might have to split this like three times. <laughs> um, but we've had a good amount of work with perspective, so I think I think we'll be fine. Let's see. Yeah, see, that displacement was garbage. It's not gonna be perfect, so I'm gonna have to do some stuff manually, but uh, that's actually not bad. It's pretty good. See the curves kind of well. Uh, let's see. These are those little tiny details that just make your edit way better if you just pay attention to them. Just gotta make it really look like it's in the jersey. Who was it that said, the grid don't quit, all gas, no brake pads? I am not. Who said that? You guys know? I don't know who said that. That is, that is a fact though. Factual statement. We didn't put the sponsor um, on their jersey. Anyway, you can help me find a good CC. What do you mean by CC? Because a lot of people say CC and it's like different. And I don't know if it's always the same thing, what they mean by CC. <clears throat> Are you gonna put the other side of the C? Um, I'm gonna put like a little bit of it. I'm just gonna show it a little bit. Like this, I'll show you. Like I'm just gonna make it look like it's in the jersey. So I'm gonna put a little just a little bit. Try to finesse it to like this. Alright, so something like that. Just make that uh that depth that depth between And then right there, I can just um, put some, let's see. Let's 
something like that. You know, just something to just make it look like cut. Uh, the Hornets should use honeycomb pattern on their jersey, bro. Facts. Look at this. <laughs> this looks dope. Like the honeycomb, I love it. I just got this honeycomb from a PNG too, and I just made it displaced. Like this is just a PNG, and I just added a gradient map. That's like a simple way to just put textures on your um designs just learn how to do use, use displacement maps and then you can pretty much do whatever you want on a on a jersey to be honest like pretty much anything you want yeah just, just uh learn that you'll be good uh i need to get the the logo so let's just get that I want to use a stripe too. That would actually be kind of sick. Using a stripe. Is this in 300 PPI? Yes, it is. Great. Color correction. Okay. Uh. I mean, it's kind of hard to say exactly the right color correction. Do you have color lookups? Like, do you have color lookup files? Because I can send you the ones I have that I use a lot. Those help me out a lot. I use color the color lookups I have on like almost every edit I make. I have, and I use my color lookups. Uh, I can send you those if you want to use those on your designs. But like, color lookup is really a lot of just patience and just just making sure you make everything look clean it's like patience it's not like a cheat code type of thing bro or anything but yeah the color lookups are a cheat code but <laughs> um let's look up a, a jersey from them are you in the discord uh winsmith are you in the discord Cause I'll upload them on Discord. Why? Okay, yeah, I was about to say, why is there none with the logo or the sponsor? the discord it's a discord's like an app it's like my community app kind of thing well it's not my app but it's like a community if you're in the discord that'll make it like a thousand times easier it's in the description though it's in the description the links in the description to join because um i can just upload those in there on the design files i'll, I'll show you or if you're confused you can just like message me on there but the link the links in the description I don't know where gang time's at today. My mod is not here. My my guy gang time. Wonder where he's at.
yeah, I should use gradient map. I tried getting, try getting cute, try getting cute with it, and it ain't work. It ain't work. It ain't work. Um, let's try to use gradient maps. Like you tried it. Ah, uh, man. Okay, we can do that. Fine. It's fine. Whatever. We'll do that. I'm just confused about the black. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Are we making that white or let's make it... Let's make it this color. Like that. Alright. That's fine. Uh, for the middle... We're just gonna do another gradient map on top, but just clip it and just make the center one the main focus point. And I'm just gonna mask it out. I appreciate everybody stopping into the stream today. Thank you guys for showing support. If you haven't yet, if you can uh, drop a like on the stream and uh, turn post notifications on if you guys are new and haven't turned them on so you guys know whenever I upload things of that nature or go live whatever it may be whatever the case may be man make the patch black I'm just gonna make it uh uh, we could we could try black. Let's see. Oh no, I'm gonna keep it this color. Chase, looking fire. Appreciate you, bro. How's the channel been recently, bro? Cause like I wasn't even hip to to you making like mixes and stuff, bro. And then I saw and I'm like, oh shit. Chase be going going crazy. I wasn't even hit, bro. Now I am. Cause I thought I did I thought your name was like 23 Chase. I was like, that's a dope name. Dope content too. I was like, shit. Well damn. I didn't even know. You never know. Watch like five of your mixes. Got a comment though. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yes, sir, man. Oh, man. All right. Uh, if this starts looking really stupid, I might just have to say we're not gonna put the logo because <laughs> this this curve right here is really tough to kind of envision right now. Um, I think the middle piece is though it's messing it messing my view up. Like perspective is sometimes it's a bitch, man. Sometimes it's really a bitch. Uh. Yeah, that's not bad actually yeah, it came out better than I thought <laughs> I guess we're getting better at perspective oh that's good to know I shouldn't, um, what is this? All right. 
Okay. Let's make that a little more angled. Nice. Uh, I don't know. Do we keep his sleeves that color? I feel like we change the color of the sleeves. What do you guys think? I feel like making them, um, like, teal or something, but I don't know if that's how we're doing it. I feel like there's really no overdoing it when you're designing. It's like, whatever you want to do, but. Oh, this needs the black to be there, or it's not going to look right. I did not know that. See, like the way I masked this was not ideal, so this is why I'm having trouble with this right now. Because I should have masked it out a little bit cleaner, like separately. I just masked it out together. You can do it, I promise. One sleeve that's uh, black, one sleeve that's white. I didn't see those shoes are in my way, man. Get them out. Just trying to uh, subtract this. I'm gonna try teal sleeves. Um, we'll see how this goes. So sit tight. And if this color looks really stupid, we can change it. Oh, it didn't even clip to the right thing. Oh yeah. I know why. Oh man, it's so dumb. Black, white. Okay. Let's do this. Let's try this. Let's try this. I messed this out so so bad. Like I shouldn't have done it this way. Now I'm paying for it. It's fine though. Oh, 
Now, at least we know for next time. Don't mask it out completely. Mask out separate sections. I usually do that, but I don't know why. I just I did it and then I just rocked with it. I was like, let it, whatever, let it rock. Oh, now I know. Don't do this again. <clears throat> okay it's looking better I think I like those sleeves just gives you that like when is this gonna happen type of feeling <laughs> like I want these jerseys And then um, we can always go around on the outside at the end and uh, just make everything cleaner since I effed it up from the beginning with masking everything out first instead of separate sections. But there's always ways to get past that. Nice. I don't know if we have to add anything else. I think this looks pretty good overall. I'm just gonna blend, blend these out. These harsh lines. These are all from the this harsh lines are from the displacement map, but they just don't look good. So I'm just gonna let the the um, fold speak for itself. Let the fold speak for itself. Yeah, I'm really happy with the displacement masks we use on this. They're really good. They're really good. I just my pet peeve is like seeing pixels like <laughs> not clean pixels it's like my pet peeve though um let's see the one thing is his jersey sleeves they're not like too uh thick but they're just not too thick in general on his jersey i don't know I don't know. It's like a little thing, but could be fixed, I guess. I don't know. There's always things you're going to want to fix when you're like done. You're like, oh my god, why did I do this? <laughs> Or why didn't I do this? Always. It's 
the harness on this? What the hell? I'm in. What is up, man? How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, why is this all, all black? Just gotta push that. This is like the most intricate freaking coloring. Okay. What do we think? I think that looks pretty solid, man. Um, obviously you gotta do cleanup on him and stuff but uh overall pretty solid looks sick thank you man are those Char charlotte's new jerseys uh no these are just jerseys i made like i made a whole like little oh i don't know where it went <laughs> i think i deleted it um where the hell did it go i had the thing up but i made like a whole jersey Right, oh yeah, right here. This is the jersey right here. Just made a uh, custom jersey mock-up. I'm gonna make a little a little thing for it for the jersey too. Or like that probably didn't make sense. I'm gonna make like a little. What the heck? Oh, I'm hitting on the wrong thing. I'm gonna make a little design for the jersey to like display it. It's kind of gonna. I'm gonna take a little bit of inspiration from uh, Srelix. If you guys know who Srelix is, he like makes a bunch of just custom jerseys, and he's really good with designing the backgrounds and stuff. Someone just sub. We just get new subs. Is that what I heard? I don't know. <laughs> I think I think I'm hearing things like my monitor is broken or something. <laughs> yeah, man, I got the the mockups from Sports Template, bro. Everybody earlier was just complaining to me that I bought it and like then they were like, "Can I get it too?" And I'm like, "Bro, you can like pay me at least a little bit to get the <laughs> the template." <laughs> I'm like, "Bro, this shit wasn't cheap. I'm not just gonna like." Just give it away for free. So everyone's getting mad, like, bro. I to each their own, whatever. Y'all can hate me. What's up, Mill? How you doing? What's my favorite video game? My favorite video game ever is Dying Light. Dying Light, bro, insane. If you guys haven't played Dying Light, go play that. Um, when the new one comes out, I'm on there. So you guys need to get Dying Light so I have someone to play with. You guys need to get that game, so I have someone to play with, bro. I don't know what happened here. Is it worth it? Uh, definitely, man. I want to get into doing more like uh, jersey designs. So, like, 
Um, it's definitely worth it, bro. At least for me, I know I'm, I know I'm gonna use it a lot, and I've already used it for for my benefit and like got my money back from just using this for making uh, jersey templates for a couple of um, sports, whatever sports agencies, companies, whatever you wanna call them, like little startups. And they wanted some mock-ups and they hit me up and I was like, yeah, I already got the mock-up and ready to go. So if you're trying to uh, do a lot more things or you just want to use it for fun, I think it's definitely worth it. It's really organized, really detailed. Um, so, yeah. I'll pull it up. Um, it's from sportstemplate.com. Pull it up so you can see. Once I like fix this stuff on the outside, I can't tell if this is like. That's why it's not masking looks like this next time. the heck where did that come from oh my god okay it's fine I'm just gonna make everything cleaner after uh, Yo, I'm not trying to make the dude have yellow teeth. Relax. Relax, content aware, Phil. Just trying to get this red off. There. Ooh, my back. My back. Do you know the way? Do you know the way? Who was my favorite uh, pick in the draft? I liked, my favorite pick was Lamelo, man, Lamelo Ball. I've always been intrigued by his play style and just how he plays since he was a freaking freshman, bro. I saw him play his freshman year. Okay, uh, let's make a little mock design of this. Uh, use some reference 
from uh, Strelix, like I said. If you guys don't know who that is, makes a lot of sick designs. I like my colors, so uh, gotta make our colors pop. I don't think that yellow gives it justice, though. <laughs> it's kind of ugly. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> this is phenomenal. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, this is like this is the first one I've done. I, I want to start doing more uh, custom jerseys and stuff. Cause like this can be a point of of uh, emphasis for you guys to just to like just give you guys some creative ideas or something. Whatever you might get from this. I'm just gonna put the wings behind like that. The f <laughs> okay, like that. Thank you guys for all the support you've been showing me guys we're super close to 4k uh watch hours as i've been saying but you know what i mean it's been a long time coming or just a long time coming it's just been a long long time man and uh doesn't matter if you were here from the start or you just joined the channel recently i appreciate it bro I'm just gonna do something kind of simple but still cool. And uh, yeah, if you guys, I, I had pinned the thing first time, but at my stream, I had to restart it because of my PC. So if you guys have your designs that you want to send me, just send me them on uh discord or instagram so i can put them on the stream next time because i'm going to try to do that for next stream set that up again make a new one this time i want to put more of uh you guys stuff so just uh just a heads up if you want to send me that stuff that'll be cool so i can put it on the stream This looks sick. 
It's like a wallpaper or something. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, don't want to do too much, but still want to make it look nice. Did I finish the mellow swap? Yeah, it's pretty much done. I just gotta finish this template real quick. So, I mean. What is the name of this? <laughs> What's the name of this? The name of this jersey. Orlando, or not, what the hell? Orlando. Charlotte Hornets, uh, blah, blah, blah edition, something. You guys probably have some good ideas. I don't know. Combed edition. <laughs> Charlotte Hornets, uh. Charlotte Hornets, I don't know. Uh, something addition. We'll think of something. Night edition. I like that. Buzzy night, <laughs> buzzy night edition. Look at the puns, the puns, bro. They're all there. All the puns are there. Buzzy night. Definitely have to do this again soon. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna invert it right on this. Oh, wait. Let's go here. it like that <laughs> that's not gonna work
Uh, let's see if this will work. Uh, where is everything? Jersey elements. I don't know if I still have the gradient map. Damn it, I don't. No, I do, I do, I do. No, I don't. That's weird. Um, here it is. This is why you gotta save your, uh, your little things, your, your smart objects. Save your smart objects. Come on. Oh yeah, I didn't. I'm trying to be creative, Photoshop. Let me do this. <laughs> Maybe you don't even need the freaking man. All right, whatever. I tried it. Photoshop doesn't want to see me win. Now nah, it's really my fault, but it's fine. Uh, I drive drop shadow. Small, like the other way though. Yes, sir. I think this should be the other way around. Maybe we'll try that being this color for here. And then, okay, press okay. Press the okay button. And then here for this. Yeah, that looks sick. Okay. That's good. If I could spell, that would also be sick. Can't have it all though. Oh. I didn't put their logo on these, but I don't know. I feel like I just keep it off on there. I don't know. Something about it just to keep it off. Like, F yo logo. F yo logo. Your London Tree logo. Uh, anyways. Let's make this cropped. Uh, let's see. What is this on?
Uh, can you link your tutorial on how to download Gigapixel free? If you just search Castle Scope Gigapixel, it should come up. But, I mean, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, but yeah, I, I'll do it. Bro, what? And have the hair messed up. I guess that doesn't truly matter that much, but. Yeah, I'm gonna link it. I'll link it for you. You might have trouble if you're on a Mac, but I, I hope that you're not on a Mac. Just, if you're on a Mac, get a, get a PC now. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I'll link it. All right, cool. Yeah, you'll be able to get it then. I'll put it in there. Um, let me just finish this and then I'll do that and stuff and other stuff, whatever you guys need or whatever or want. Uh, this does need to be shown again. You can kind of go with like a cartoony look because that's what they be doing with the jersey swaps and I like the look not a cartoony but really texturized I don't know why, but I'm gonna do the background too. I don't think it's gonna make a difference because the background's literally kind of just, I don't know, just plain. No, actually you can't do that. We can, nah, it doesn't look good. I put a little bit of color balance on that, so I gotta do the background too, a little more green. And then, uh, hold on, let's just clean this up. You're on the winning side, bro. You're on the Mac. Just had to tell you that. I forgot to tell you that. You're on the winning team. Nah, it really don't matter. But I'm just saying. Like, bro. Mac just makes it hard to do, like, everything. I don't know why. I need to relax with that. <clears throat> This was not the right top. So.
and you do a tutorial on how to make it look like they're going against themselves uh, like a manipulation yeah I've been getting a lot of people wanting to do that it's just hard to like uh, kind of it would be hard to just explain in one video it'd be like a really long video but um, I guess I guess I, I need to do one right <laughs> I guess it's time it's, it's gonna be hard to explain but I'll, I'll do my best too I can guarantee you that I'll do my best too and uh, yeah I'll drop that uh, soon enough tomorrow I'm making a video on on how to use your blur galleries better when you're doing a scene and this could be a tutorial too just how to uh, take out tone see I'm taking out that orange tone that was on his face before see, getting rid of that because I want it to be green because that matches him more all right okay now I'm gonna do the last thing on this and that is just adding a little bit of light so I'm taking away a little bit of light to add a little bit of light sounds counterintuitive but let's see I didn't like curves there I don't know what that was doing hold on why do curves do that what the heck doesn't ever do that usually All right, well, I'm just gonna put that over there. All right, it doesn't need to be that dark though. And then, bro, it's turning from green, like that teal to green. It's not what we want. Are you doing another project on stream? Nah, I'm, I'm done after this one. I'm going to be so tired if I did another project. Because I still got to draw and stuff today. So this is going to be the last thing I'm going to do. Cause we did the SWAT, we did the jersey design and the SWAT today, so it kind of took a while, but it was good. We're not done yet. Oh, I just gotta add a little bit of light. So, when I do lighting, I don't really, like, say, like, exactly what you have to do. I just pick the points I really I really like. There's no, there's never really a rhyme or rhythm. I just go for it. And then I adjust from where I'm at. I just go for it, though. Being completely honest, I just go for it. It usually ends up pretty good. But... Once you just start doing lighting more, you'll be like, all right, I want this point to be hitting. I want this point to be hitting. I don't want this point, blah, blah, blah. And then you'll just be like godlike at lighting. Godlike. Even though you are all gods, all right? Understand this.
Do I have a tutorial for Topaz Labs? Yes, I do. It's, it's in my uh, playlist. My tutorials playlist. Yes, I do. I haven't taken my glasses off to see the color. A little. If you had, see, you can add linear dodge actually like pretty like uh, not light, not bright. Uh, that's one of the things I went over in my tutorial on the color wheel. Patience, LB. What does one have to do to get his post on Cal's Insta story? You can just uh, you can just message me on Discord or Instagram. I put I'll put like pretty much anybody's. It's not like I'm like, hey, I'm not putting yours. No, I'm almost done, and I'll link it. But yeah, just message me on Instagram or Discord, bro. I'm trying to put together. Um, uh, the things so so yay You have to go soon? Alright. I got you then. Pixel video. That's kind of dumb. Let's see. Okay, I think I know what it is, bro. It's because um, the, my Gigapixel tutorial it's like intertwined with one other one, so. Okay, I'm just gonna sh send you the one I, I did for free. Hold on, let's see. You might be right. I don't even know where it is. You, you're right, bro. Where the hell is it? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Let me see the one that I used. I used this one to get it. <clears throat> I used this one to get it, but I don't know. Mad weird. Try try to just de look up Gigapixel free, but try to use this one. If this one doesn't work, this is like a good install one, but if they de they cut off the link, then try to just get an updated link from just searching. I don't know, man. They've been like cutting off a lot of stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna put it in the Discord. What does Gigapixel do? Gigapixel makes your your um Gigapixel makes your your files bigger. They make your files bigger without like losing a lot of quality. I 
That's what it does. Sir, what are you doing? I'm actually using the paintbrush. I don't really be doing this or recommend it, but or recommend it, but you guys see me doing so. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, now I'm just gonna use a color cup, and then we're gonna be done, man. Color cup, and then uh camera I'm just going to try to use a subtle one Can I do a clay slap swap sw whoa, whoa 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 pause 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 that but can I do a Clay, Clay Thompson swap? Uh, what team would you want Clay Thompson to be on? I don't even know if I would do that. Because Clay Thompson's not even playing this year. Maybe as like a tribute to him. But like, damn. He really got injured again. Like, that's, that's tough. That is tough, man. Swap clay onto the Warriors. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely gonna have to look into doing that. <laughs> oh, I'm using the color palette. I was like, all right, we messed up this purple, but we didn't. All right, we're good.
This is like the best part of the edit because it's just like you're finally done. All right, guys. That is going to do it for the live stream today. Thank you guys for all tuning into the live stream today. Thank you. Thank you. Cannot thank you guys enough. Um, here we got this LaMelo Ball swap. And then we also have the jersey template. So pretty sick. We got a good amount of stuff done today. I'm going to put this on my Instagram at CouncilScope. If you guys don't follow me over there. Thank you, TGB. All the trophies. I appreciate them, bro. Thank you. And uh, you guys have a good day. Make sure you guys stay scoped and send me your designs on Discord or Instagram. Until then, I'm out, man. I'm out. Peace. What's going on YouTube, it's Castlescope. I'm back with another video, and today's video is really important for designers, painters, whatever you may be. Um, just understanding the color wheel is so important and a really good concept to understand to bring your designing to the next level. Now, I'm just gonna be going over the color wheel and probably just save demos for another video. I'll show like a quick demo, but if you guys want me to continue the series of lighting, let me know in colors because this can really bring your designing to the next level, but just let me know. And so I'm just gonna go over a couple key concepts that I feel are really important for you guys to understand. Now, right here we have our color wheel, right? And all of these colors are in their hue form, right? And what hue really means, we have this layer right here that's hue and saturation. What hue really means is colors at their most saturated, right? So hue equals pure color. And if you were to look on your color picker right here, you go to the top right color all these colors are in hue their purest form if you were to drag this down to more black that's less hue to the left and to the left from the top right is uh less hue again just with white tint so white tint this way black tint that way okay now something that is really important and i want to just bring to you guys first is the concept of contrasting colors now what contrasting colors are is a color on the direct opposite of the wheel. So if you go directly diagonal from here or directly across from there or directly across from here, these are contrasting colors. Now, why contrasting colors are important is because um, creating just a really drastic difference that just is still pleasing to the, to the viewer's eye contrasting colors can create that really drastic difference that's still pleasing to the eye and that's what you see a lot of times when you see movies they'll have like a uh, yellowish scene and then like purple highlights or let's like bluish scene with orange highlights it just makes that cool looking contrast to a scene and you can look at many things in sports such as like um, Patriot the Patriots they have some contrasting colors or if you or actually let's go to the Vikings first because I don't want to get you guys confused I have something to talk about that let's go so I have this picture of the Vikings player and if you were to look at the color wheel you would see purple is literally directly opposite to yellow and that's why the Vikings jerseys make such a nice uh, contrast of colors and it just looks so clean because of the contrasting color Okay guys, so the next term is split complementary. Now split complementary is going to the colors that are opposite, but looking at the colors that are directly next to the opposite colors, right? So from going from this blue to this orange shade, these sit opposite, but this is going to the next uh, to the next shade here or the next shade down there. The next shade up or the next shade down, right? So that's what split complementary is. And why split complementary is important is because it can give you a nice difference. So we want it, we want a difference on here. So we go from blue to orange, but maybe we don't want it to be as harsh on the eyes. So we're gonna go to that yellowish tone there or that that next orange tone that's not gonna be as harsh on the eyes, but the viewer's still gonna see a nice contrast of colors, right? So that's what split complementary is and why it is important and 
the next thing is try added color so I'm just gonna make a quick triangle on this color wheel just think about this triangle being equal I mean I know I really butchered that but just think about the triangle being an equilateral triangle and what the triangle is signifying is balance for this term in the way that I'm gonna explain it so triadic is choosing colors that are equally spaced and make harmony because like they're not drastically different but they're but they're different enough that make nice harmony with the viewer um, the viewers eye so just think about like just splitting up the graph in a nice like equal pattern right so just think about splitting it up in a nice equal pattern so I'm not gonna try to make it too complex here but just think about that making it split into equal pattern I'm not even gonna, gonna go with red but just think about like if you were to choose this purple right here then you would maybe change choose this orange or if you're gonna cha choose this blue then maybe you would choose like a green or a red shade that's equally spread apart so just think about like one two three one all okay, right one two three just think about like one to one two to two three to three now you can always like finesse this and just think about your own ways to split up colors equally because there's many many shades that you're going to see like there's so many shades right but just thinking about splitting it up into equal patterns is really important and that's why it's important to just have a color wheel around you when you're designing so you can just really think about it and pick really good um, points that you want to make contrast but just this is even more harmonious because it's just like really equal and just nice to the eye so what I'm gonna do is go on some of these pictures right here of NFL teams and you guys are gonna see uh, either either it's a mix between the split complementary colors or triadic so if you look at the New England Patriots this is more triadic because it's like the blue to the red right this, this darker blue to the red so that's more triadic um, you're gonna see triadic a lot in sports right so you're gonna see it a lot in sports we're not gonna go on that one yet Keenan Allen you have this really nice like blue tone to the yellow this just looks like crazy and sick on the eye so this is where you're gonna get these triadic tones again because you're going from like this blue you could say around here to this yellow equally equal distance around this wheel right here that we have right equal distance so that's what triadic colors are and split complementary is also very good and like we said just gonna have nice variances between the colors okay so now let's go on to analogous colors and analogous colors are colors that sit right next to each other so it's like this shade of blue to this shade this shade of purple to more of a pink this yellow to orange whatever it may be they're right next to each other right they're like brothers whatever you want to call them sisters doesn't matter <laughs> they're right next to each other and what what this can do is it's a very subtle change that's just like a gradient to the eye if you think of a gradient map in Photoshop so I'm gonna just press G if you think of a gradient map in Photoshop and I'm just gonna make a white layer real quick think of a gradient map in Photoshop I'm gonna go to a red then I'm gonna actually just use my hue Oops. All right, let me start that again. I'm going to go to the orange on the top and on the bottom, I'm going to use red. All right. And now I'm going to choose a gradient. So with my gradient tool, it's like this. See how subtle this change is, but it's just super, super nice to the eye. Right? You can barely tell that there's a big change there, but it's just really nice to the eye. Like if you're going to do like, like this, to this like that's just like what are you doing man that's not very subtle to the eye so you got to stick in those those subtle tees that just look super clean together you can barely even tell the difference and what I did is I have this close-up of Derrick Henry to show you guys this so if you were to just use your color picker on here you guys see the difference right here it's just like subtle this blue tone to the next blue tones very very subtle and I'm just gonna demonstrate that All right so use our color picker see how like subtle and just clean that is super clean super subtle 
to give a nice color to the viewer's eye and that's that's really all i'm going to talk about on this on this video if you guys want to know about tints tints are just going from the the hue in its pure form to more of a white or more of a black so you can always play around with this in photoshop and just remember that this is the this is the color but you're just adjusting it and adding a tint to either either way right i also want to say real quick that the left side of the color wheel would be your cool colors while the right side would be your warm colors and the difference between cool and warm is just kind of energy and emotion you're going to see more cool colors and like dramatic more dramatic pieces um the, than warm colors and like action scenes or just bright sunny days so yeah that's what i just want to say about cool and warm colors think about that when you're doing your compositions so that's just really important to think about as well okay guys this is going to be the last segment of the video um if you guys are really confused on this segment of the video do not worry and just let me know in the comment section below if you want me to continue these videos because i will definitely break down why that i choose the decisions that i've made um, so you guys remember that we said that triadic colors are really good for lighting and that's what we did here we used uh, a red source light on his blue jersey which is mainly blue but I'm gonna break it down this is the original photo but I'm just gonna break it down like really really simple and really click quick um, for you guys so don't get too confused all right and so the first thing that I did was I chose a color to make the scene darker on multiply now multiply blending mode allows you to pick a color and obviously make something darker so what i did is put a color fill on but what you want to do when you're on multiply you can't go to too dark of a color because it's going to just make it way too dark and it's hard to see on here but it's easier to see on here so when using multiply color you actually kind of want to use a lighter color because multiply already is going to make it way darker than it is because it's just reading a lot of things on the subject so when you pick multiply color start out with a light color then go darker from there okay so then what i did was i added my bright red on for the first layer and i used a human saturation layer turn my saturation all the way up and lighten this up and then i just painted on rim lights and you guys see just how that contrast of color just looks so cool and so neat especially when you're doing your lighting right like i said we will continue to do this just let me know then I added my second red on, and then my, for my darkening, I used some exposure. You could go back to multiply again and stay in stay in this hue. See how I'm in the blue hue? Stay in this hue. You don't have to try to go to purple and then bring your brightness down. That's not how you're gonna do it. That's gonna look bad. It's not going to look the same as if you stay within your blue hue, because I stayed in the blue hue and I just made it darker from there, right? So that's what you wanna do. You don't wanna just start doing a whole bunch of crazy things that don't look good. Stay in the hue. Stay on this column, but just adjust from here. That's what's really important to do, all right? So then I went to my second red, now my exposure. I just added another source light, which is really cool there. And this was my red light that goes behind him. Just added a red light and levels just added levels because i think levels usually looks pretty cool um but yeah i like levels so i just use it and then these were just visor glows all i did was make a selection of his mask like i went or went around like this made a selection and then filled it in with a 